Greetings, and welcome everyone to Retro Game Repairman, where we learn to get vintage video games to run on modern hardware. I'm your host, Ace, and today's game is yet another example of an obscure indie title that nevertheless is worth checking out. Swarm Rampage. First released all the way back in 2002, and the sequel to 1999's Swarm Assault, Swarm Rampage is an extremely obscure title that is nevertheless genuinely fun, and thanks to the changes made in this game in comparison to the original, still manages to stand out in its own right. Which is of course why it is so unfortunate that it does not necessarily run right out of the box on modern hardware, but of course we are here to fix that. Now for those curious, the version of the game that I am testing these fixes on is an old digital copy that used to be sold via Amazon.com. Unfortunately, the game is no longer available there, though there are ways to acquire it otherwise, wink wink. In addition to that, the machine that I am testing these fixes on is a Windows 10 64-bit with 48GB of DDR4 RAM, an i7-6700K processor, and a GTX 980 Ti. And with all of that said, let's dive in. So the first thing you'll want to do after installing the game is to download and extract the latest copy of DG Voodoo 2. Once that's done, you'll want to go into the DG Voodoo 2 directory, then the MS folder, then the x86 folder, and copy the files shown here. And paste them into the game's directory. Once that's done, open up DG Voodoo 2 and click Add, and then add the game's directory. After that, you'll want to configure as shown here. Congratulations! If you have done everything correctly, then your copy of Swarm Rampage will be fully playable. I hope you have found this guide to be of use, and I hope to see you all again soon. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care! Ace out.